Hey, it's your boy Mario Dude, and we're back at it again with something a little bit different this time. Uh, it's going to be another unboxing slash first impression slash gameplay uh, slash review of something I've been waiting for for a long time, which is the Thrustmaster T300 RS uh, Sim Racing Wheel. So it's a racing wheel that connects to the PS3, PS4, and PC for pretty much simulated uh, racing uh, gameplay. So I've wanted one of these for dang near ever and i just finally caved in and had them extra money to get one so i went ahead and bought one and the t300 rs is kind of i guess middle of the line close to the top of the line it's not a, it's not a cheap uh, wheel but it is very high quality and i really enjoyed the unboxing and the setup and actually playing with it so as you see now with me on screen you see me unboxing it apologies i did lose the audio for the unboxing so i'm kind of talking over it which is fine, you know, it's whatever. But you see me put out the wheel, the um, the mount, and pretty much some of the other components of the T300. And what I like, what I really like about it is how easy it is to set up. Like the wheel was easy to set up. It took me, it took a few tries. I'm not gonna lie because uh, I got a little confused with the instructions. But everything was easy to set up. Just pretty much plug and play. The only thing I would say to worry about is the mounting of the wheel itself. But well, honestly, if you got a desk, that's good enough. You really won't have anything to worry about uh, because the mount is very flexible and it it's really tight. It took me, it took, I'm, a, I'm a big guy and it took me some some power to, to get it off. But I might have been because I screwed it on too tight. No, <laughs> whatever. But it's just to, to my first impressions. I was just happy to open the box and kind of get it out. But the T300 comes with, you know, those three pedals you see there on screen, uh, which is the gas, brake, and the clutch. So I did not get the version with the uh, handbrake or the gear shift, but uh, if I, you know, really enjoy doing some racing, maybe I'll, you know, cave in and buy some more parts for that. But, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see. But for right now, I really, really, really like the setup of it. I'm going to talk more about it in the next part when I actually get to the setup. Which you'll see in a second. So I'll see you there. So we got everything set up. Um, the wheel is mounted to the desk. So when you mount the wheel, be cautious because uh, if you have a keyboard thing like me under your, um, well, obviously under your desk, then it's going to hit pretty close. So be careful where you put your keyboard. But other than that, everything is mounted. We got our pedal set up. Everything is calibrated. And speaking of calibration, if you, uh, when you, you know, plug everything in, make sure you go to the software install all the drivers and stuff like that. It has a little cool features too, like voice feedback. So you can test, um, it'll, it'll test screen with like simulation, simulations of what happens in like driving games. So like you get like a blown tire or something like that. You can kind of test the, the feedback for it. So if it's too strong, or you can turn it down or turn it up, you know, whatever you like, different ones. It's pretty cool. I'm, I was surprised by how powerful it is because you know, I'm a bigger guy and it was throwing me for a loop so <laughs> so make sure you test all that stuff inputs work so if you come closer and you see at the screen you can see that when you move the wheel the things in the game things that were on the screen actually change so if you press the gas all that stuff works so make sure you test that out in the uh control panel for the uh the t300 so all that works and next we're going to be actually playing the game so check it out all right, so boom. So after setting everything up, we pretty much booted the stream up <laughs> and used the wheel to our heart's content. So me and my girlfriend Michelle played this a bunch of different racing games with a uh, good friend Hershey, and it was a blast. So this wheel is honestly an amazing piece of technology, and I say that because it perfectly simulates what I think actually driving uh, the type of cars we were driving in the games would probably feel like. It was an actual simulation, especially different games had different ways of expressing certain um, reactions. So like uh, in a set of Corsa, when I was driving one of the really fast cars, I can feel like the wheel shaking and everything just moving and you can feel feedback when you hit the road. So like if you're going over grass, you actually feel bumps and stuff like that. And it's just honestly, the, the T300 RS is amazing. And uh, even, even it's even I would say comparable to uh, those you know little cars and stuff you would find in arcades. Like the feedback is crazy. And something I also will say is that that little wheel is strong now. 
So I had it on setting five percent, and it was just jerking my arms. And I'm like I said earlier, I'm a pretty big guy, I'm a pretty strong guy, and uh, it was moving me. So if if you if you were not uh, <laughs> that strong or um, wouldn't like that much force being put upon, like kind of your arm, your hands and stuff like that when you're driving, definitely turn that force feedback down in the settings. The uh, Thrustmaster does, it not doesn't come with software, but if you download the right software, you will see options to turn down the, uh, I think it's called the feedback motor. And you can turn it down from like, I think I had mine on 75%. You can turn it down like 20, zero, and turn, you can turn it completely off. And um, you can use it that way. But honestly, I wouldn't advise it because it kind of defeats the purpose of the wheel, kind of turning it down to zero, but definitely turn it down so it's not like jerking you everywhere. Uh, another thing I would say is that if you're gonna mount this thing, make sure you have a sturdy desk. Uh, like I said before, I am a big guy, so <laughs> I was just pretty much jerking my desk around trying to play it. You know, which is my fault because I didn't really think about it. You know, it, oh, man, you know, kind of a little flimsy desk wheel that has a big motor in it, a lot of movement. Me jerking it, uh, you know, things didn't go too well, but things went well enough that it was an amazing experience. The pedals feel really good; they feel responsive. I had no issues pretty much connecting the C three hundred to any game, so. It is compatible with pretty much the big racing games, uh, especially on PC. So if you're on PC and you got a set of Corsa, you got a uh, Dirt Dirt Rally, you got uh, any really any of the Forza games on PC that are uh, compatible, you got it. Uh, the setup, the calibration wasn't bad. Nothing was off. The the paddles in the back of the wheel felt good. It was honestly just an amazing experience. I really enjoyed it. I honestly might get another one so me and my girlfriend can play, you know, twos. <laughs> we can both race on our different uh, PCs, but I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend the Thrustmaster 300 RS. I wish I would have knew about this sooner, and I wish I would have pulled the trigger on it to get it sooner. Uh, it's definitely an amazing piece of technology. I had a blast with it on stream. I look forward to actually becoming good. At racing games because right now <laughs> and after playing on stream if anybody ever goes back and look at the VOD it was bad but you know we improve and it's, it's kind of amazing that people master those things because uh, when I was playing I'm like yeah it's gonna be easy it's not like anything in the arcade it's, it's legitimate driving like uh, the, 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 the games that you play with this wheel are actual simulators so like it's like real life driving so certain cars handle differently uh, some cars turn differently than others, so it's not like arcadey. So hopefully, and I do wish, and it's kind of a side, I do wish that more arcadey, uh, some kind of nice some games with racing games that support some wheels come out on PC or just in general, because that would be kind of cool. Because I do enjoy like the more realistic games, but I would would definitely love a more arcadey uh, game. But that's nothing. That's nothing uh, wrong with the Thrustmaster. The Thrustmaster handles would pro pro probably crush that. The only problem I had at all, if any, was probably the amb ambiguity of the initial instructions with attaching the wheel. But honestly, you can find a quick video that shows you directly how to do it. So, definitely recommend, like I said before, the Thrustmaster T T300 RS. If you're looking to get it, I say pull the trigger, especially. But. This has been another Mario Dude video. Make sure you check out the Switch at Mario Dude VR. I post VR content. If you haven't looked at the rest of the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, follow the Twitch, follow the YouTube, follow me on all social medias. I appreciate you watching, and you have a good day. Bye-bye.